Okay, we're going to talk about a Gantt chart today. This is an Excel file, so you're going to need to use a Windows machine to edit this. Um, it's basically a tool to allow you to organize your 20% time project. Um, it allows you to list out the steps or the parts of your project in, in, a, in sequential order, and you can add and remove and adjust things as needed. Um, but then it allows you to assign a time value, weeks, days, uh, months, on to complete these tasks and then you can keep track of when you've completed them so you can see visually how long your project should take and how long it is actually taking. Um, this is a tool that you're going to be using. You'll turn it in at the end of the project, so we'll cover that as well. Again, this is a tool that will be neat, you'll need to use on Excel or in a Windows computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that from a Windows point of view. Um, you may need to do that in class unless you have access to Win Excel or Excel Online outside of class. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So here's the kind of the parts of the video. You can go ahead and get to these parts as you need to. So we're going to start out by accessing the chart, getting it from the assignment page in Google Classroom, how to open it up using Microsoft Excel, and how to save things. Then we're going to talk about the parts of the chart, how to fill it out initially, um, how to keep it updated, and then we'll talk about saving it and turning it in upon completion at the end of the project. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're talking about accessing the document. Um, you'll see me here in Google Classroom, and this is our Google Classroom. Um, you may see SEM2 period one, and you're in period two or period five, that's okay. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're doing this on a Windows machine. If you're on your Chromebook, go ahead and pause the video and log into your Windows machine. You need to do this on a Windows machine because we're using an Excel file. Um, so if you try to do this on your Chromebook, it will not work. Um, you can try using the web version of Excel, but I'm not sure it's going to work. Um, so we're going to start here. You'll see it as an announcement in Classroom. I'm not making it an assignment per se um, right now because it's not due until after you've completed your 20% time project. So you're going to go ahead and click on the link. That's going to open up this little window here. And you're going to see that you can print it and you have three little dots here on the right hand side. You're going to want to click on the more actions or the three little dots. You're going to choose the option that says open in a new window. Once you do that, you're going to see the same thing kind of open up again. You're like, well, wait a minute. Hey, but you can see a whole bunch more tools show up over here on the right hand, upper right hand corner. You're going to want to choose the one with the downward facing arrow that has a line underneath it. And it, if you hover your mouse over it, it says download. We're going to download this to the downloads folder on the Windows machine. So you just click on it once and it'll do some stuff. You'll see a part of it open here, a little circle going around it. That means it's downloading. Once it's completed, you can go ahead and exit out of this window and you can go ahead and um, exit. And I go, I'll just go back here to this part and I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to go to what I call the desktop of my Windows machine. Again, remember I'm on a Windows 10 machine, you're on Windows 7, some things are the same or similar. So you're going to find either my computer or the little folder down here. Um, if you've created a shortcut to your folders, that's great. Um, but I'm going to open up this part and I'm going to go to downloads. And you're going to see that I have a whole bunch of stuff in here, but here's the file that I downloaded. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can drag it over to where your to where it says computer. Mine says this PC, but you said computer. And you'll go to where it says not documents, but you're going to go to where it says sees your bot, your username. And you can just go ahead and drag that over and drop it in there. Um, I'm going to do it in a little bit different way, which I think might be easier for some of you. Either way will work. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up with Excel. And let me take them in here. So you're going to see a little bit different here than what you have. That's okay. You're going to click on Enable Editing. If you see that, this will allow you to save it. So now I'm going to go over to the File menu. Remember, the menu bar is up at the top. And I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to Save As. And I'm going to save this to a place on my PC. And you may need to click on Browse. And you'll see here that I'm in my Downloads folder. I don't want to save it there. I want to go to the computer. And then I want to go to my username. And I'm going to just say that the, let's see here, I'm going to go to Documents here. And say that's my username. And I'm going to call it Gantt Project Planner and I'm going to add my name to it. 
Okay, and then I'm going to save it. Okay, and you should see that it says saved up here. All right, that's all there is to be all there is that to save it. All right, in the next section, we'll talk about filling it out and using this as a way to manage and organize your project. Okay, let's go ahead and get started in using this chart. So you're gonna see a lot of information here um, and a lot of stuff going on. And I'm gonna try to go through it kinda one step at a time. So um, you've got, it looks like a little comment here. Um, you got, title, you got some comments here to help you kind of work your way through it. I'm going to go through and just describe it. So project planner, um, you can go ahead and rename that if you want to. You could say that this is going to be your um, um, okay. Now I'm just calling it my Arduino project planner because that's what I'm going to be working on. Okay, so now you have some you know periods here. This is just kind of you know, what one you're high, it says period to highlight. Um, you can go to different ones and highlight different ones here. We're not gonna worry about that. You have some things to, you have some color codes over here. You have plan duration, which is kind of like purple lines. Um, that's how long it you think it's going to take. Okay, so how long, so that's, you can see graphically down here how long you think it's gonna take. Actual start is when you actually started the project. Um, percent complete is how much of the project is complete or the task actual actual beyond the plan the little orange grayed out here is you went beyond what you thought you the amount of time you thought you were good and the orange is the percent of that it is complete beyond the plan so beyond the plan is basically just how far you um, how far out beyond what you thought you would do it's okay if you go beyond what you thought you would do that's okay. All right. So first off, we have activities, and you'll see here activity one, two, three, list of activities. You probably will not have 26 activities. That's okay. Um, but an activity is just a part of a project, and we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit in class, um, but this is where you're starting to think, now that you've had a conversation with me, what are the things you need to be doing? What are the steps to complete your task? Um, or your project or to learn your skill. For me, I'm doing Arduino. I'm learning how to do Arduino. So I'm going to start with the first part here, um, which is by okay. and it can be a little bit bigger than the actual thing here. So buy an Arduino set, um, look for lessons online. Let's see here, look for lessons online. Um, take online class, online lessons. Um, and let's see here, let's go for take online lessons. Um, practice, uh, take online lessons. Now, I could leave it as take online lessons, or I could go and actually do something a little bit different. I'm gonna say lesson and break it down into lesson one, lesson two lesson three um, and then I'm going to say here check in with um, Mr. Garrett check with Mr. Garrett and then say lesson four and lesson five okay and then maybe after and then another check in with Mr. Garrett and then have um, design final project um, write code for code for project okay. wire project test project make test project um, and then um, have another check in with Mr. Garrett and then turn in project and then I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to highlight shift and go across and just go down through the rest of these activities and go delete and I'm going to get rid of them um, and then just I'm going to leave it at that okay so um, now plan start periods I'm going to call periods we can re kind of re think of periods as not periods of class 
Think of periods as weeks. So your period would be a week. So I'm going to plan to start this in week, <coughs> let's see, I think we're about four weeks in. I'm going to plan to start it in week four. And I think plan duration, so my activity duration, I think this is going to take um, two weeks to do. And I actually started it in four, and but it only took me one week. And so there, and now percent complete. I'm 100% complete with that. So there we go. You can see that I thought it would take two weeks. It only took one week and I'm done. Okay, so now look for lessons online. I'm gonna actually start that in four, and in week, week four. Duration, I'm only gonna say that's gonna take one week. And I actually started it, I got a little bit behind. I started it in week five, and but it did only take me a week and I'm 100% complete with that. So there we go. Um, that now lesson one. I'm going to start that in week five. And lesson one, I'm just going to estimate that it's going to take me about three weeks to do that. I actually started it in week five, and I haven't I haven't done anything with that yet. Okay, so I'm going to leave that as a zero. Okay, so now you can see over here it's starting to fill in that graph of where I'm at. Now with these, I'm going to say week five, let's see here. Now, here's where it might get a little bit tricky. Three weeks, I plan three weeks. So three weeks out is going to be, I'm going to start lesson two in number eight. And I'm thinking again, three weeks. I haven't started it. So I'm going to leave that in there or maybe just leave it at 0% complete. Okay, so I can start. Now, plan is, again, when you think you're going to do it. Okay, start is when you think you're going to start it. So weeks, so take me three weeks, 11, and then lesson three would be three weeks. And then I'm going to say, nope, nope. And I'm going to say 0% complete. And then check in with Mr. Garrett. Week 11, probably only going to take me a week if that. And again, leave that at zero. Lesson four, now I've looked at lesson four and I might be able to start that in week 11 or maybe week 12. And then I'm gonna say plan duration. I'm gonna say that might take me four weeks. Okay. And then go through and fill these in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, you know, I'll keep filling these in. Um, as we go through here, well, I'm not gonna, I'm actually gonna move ahead here. So let's say, you know, I'm not gonna fill in all the rest of these, but you kind of get the idea. So let's say now, week eight comes around, I haven't started, um, or I finally completed this, and this one only took me two weeks to complete. Okay, so now I'm not gonna adjust my plan start. I'm just gonna say, oh, well, I actually was able to start this on um, week seven, okay, and but it took me, this one was a little tough, so it took me five, um, well, five weeks, kind of working on five weeks now, and I'm only 60% complete, okay? That's okay. Okay, so there I'm working on it. I'm keeping track of that. Um, now, let's say it comes back here. I actually started week seven, and this one took me a little bit of time. It took me six weeks, but now I'm 100% complete, and I'm actually going to update that to 100% complete. Not going to change this one again, um, but six weeks, I got to count out. So instead of I finished, I started on seven, so I went seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I started on week 12. So I'm gonna say week 12. And um, I'm still working on this one though, so I'm only, you know, I, haven't, I don't know how long it's taken me, but let's just say I just started. So here I can see that representation of where I'm at. Um, now, to skip ahead a little bit, so that's how you would fill it in as you go along. Um, so moving through here, let's say um, week, 20 um, and I think turning in the project is only going to take me a week and doot doot and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly um, and I'm going to say uh, let's see here week 20 let's see you're checking with Mr. Garrett let's say week 19 and that's only going to take me a week and we'll say delete delete and um, we'll leave that at zero 
Um, I'm just going to make all of these zero. Um, okay. um, so you want to go through and make sure you plan all these out in four weeks. So this would be week 16. And let's say that one's only going to take me two. Check in with Mr. Garrett would be week um, 18 and one week. And deep, 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 deep. Um, and I'm just going to simulate that I've gone through this here. Um, but what you should see is week 19, um, designing the final project that might take me um, again maybe three weeks and then 19, 20, 21, week 21 I'm going to write the code I'm going to say that might take me five weeks and wire the project um, I can do that while I'm writing the code so I'm going to say week 20 and that will take me two weeks so you can see I'm just kind of See here, week week 26, and testing it may take me three weeks, and then you can see now I'm already past my turn-in point, um, which is okay. Um, I'm going to say check in with Mr. Garrett week 25. Um, again, that's going to be one week and week 27. Okay, so now I can see here. I can start to see. Oh, whoa! I'm this is going to take me past when the project turn-in is, which is right here. So, um, you know, maybe I need to push that out a little bit and go week 20 or week 25. Maybe I need to go week 28 and there. Now I'm three weeks. So you can also use this to help. But now I can kind of see where I should be at and gives me an idea of how I'm doing here. So um, I don't expect you to know all of these. You can go ahead, you, you can add things in as you go along. Um, but at the very least, by next Monday, you should have a start of you know where you're going to start, and we'll talk a little bit about that in class. But this just gives you an idea of how to fill in that Gantt, how to start filling in this Gantt chart, um, and get going. All right, make sure that you save your work. You can do File and Save, or you can click the little disk up here in your toolbar. All right, good luck, and we'll move on to the next step in this in a second. All right, we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you, give you a preview of how to turn this in when you're ready to turn it in with your final project. So again, you should have this all completed and filled out. Um, I'm gonna to go to one that I am a class in. Uh, let's see here, we're gonna to go to this one here. And we're gonna see, I'm gonna scroll down here again. You, you're gonna see a lot of this, but. So I'm gonna start here, we're gonna pretend this is the activity. I'm just gonna click on open. And I'm going to say add, and for this one I'm going to say add file. This is again, this should be review for most of you, but I'm going to add a file. I'm going to click on this one, it says select projects, and I'm going to go to where it says computer, find my desktop, find my username, I'm going to pretend documents is my username, double click on that, and I'm going to look for that, and I'm going to say open, and now you'll see this, I'm going to click upload, and it would upload, and then you know, it may take a minute or two, and then I'll just click turn in. Um, I'll want to add my the other stuff. But again, this needs to be done on a Windows machine, um, as I've reiterated earlier in the video. So make sure you're on your Windows machine, not your Chromebook. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. Well, that's a Gantt chart. If you have any questions, make sure you email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com. Um, and don't hesitate, we'll be doing this throughout the semester, so you've got plenty of time to work on this and kind of get used to it. Um, I would like those of you that are trying this on, doing it on um, Excel within the um, online version, the um, Microsoft Excel online, my, or, um, that, um, let me know how it works. Give me a quick email. All right, good luck and happy project planning. Okay, this has been re. Gantt Charts, recorded at Shadow Ridge Studios. Your instructor has been John Garrett. For more information or for help, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com.